Hey, Chef Billy Parisi here from Heinen's Grocery Stores. Thanks so much for stopping in. I'm gonna show you how to make an absolutely delicious steak salad using some of Heinen's own marinated skirt steak. I'm gonna sort of give you my take on a taco salad. So the first thing we need to do though is prep up some ingredients before we start grilling anything. We've got some very small vine ripe tomatoes that we are simply going to cut into small little wedges. If they're big, you can go ahead and medium dice them. Next, I'm going to slice up some green onions, followed up with small dicing up a sweet onion. And then I've got some avocados. Now, the easiest way I know to prepare these is to slice them down the middle right in half. And then once you twist it to make two different sides, I place the one with the seed in a towel because you need to be careful here. And I take the knife, then I give it a gentle chop and twist it and it will come right out. Please be careful when doing this. And to go ahead and remove the avocado from the outside shell, just use a large spoon and sort of scoop it out just like you're doing ice cream, really just like you see here. And then we're going to thinly slice these all the way down. And then one of the last vegetables we need to prep up is some radishes, which I'm just gonna thinly shave on a mandolin. If you've got great knife cuts, feel free to use just your knife. Everything is prepped up and now it's time to start grilling, but I wanna show you this steak. Heinen's has a wonderful assortment of marinated meats, whether it's chicken or pork or beef. And I found the most delicious beer ancho marinated skirt steak. It's got some nice zesty spices in there. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. I'm taking this alongside some shucked corn right outside to the grill. On high heat, in between 450 and 550 degrees, we're just gonna put the corn down because that's actually gonna take a little longer than the steak to cook because that skirt steak is so thin. And we're just gonna cook it maybe three minutes on each side. We wanna get a darker yellow on it. That's how you know that it's finished. After halfway through the cooking process of the corn, we're now gonna place that skirt steak right onto the hot grill on the other side. This is maybe gonna cook for three to four minutes per side as well because it is so thin. What we're looking to do here is get some nice grill marks and cook it to about medium to medium rare. After all of that time, we are taking everything off the grill. We're gonna bring it back. First though, we are gonna let the steak rest on a plate, let all those juices and delicious flavors soak back into the meat. But this is great timing because what we can do now is simply slice off the corn right off the cob Try not to eat it. I know it's hard. It's just super good. You've got grilled corn everywhere. And then when it comes to the salad dressing, I'm gonna give you two options. Heinen's has a great vinaigrette in their salad dressing aisle. It is a simple cilantro lime dressing that would be fantastic on this. If you don't wanna do that, I'm gonna show you quickly how to make a chipotle ranch dressing, just in case you like creamy dressings better. In a blender, go ahead and add in one chipotle pepper along with some adobo sauce. We're gonna hit it with just a little bit of milk, make sure it thins out. And then add about a cup of your favorite ranch dressing right into the blender. We're just gonna puree it until it is completely smooth. Once it's at that point, it is done. Now our steak is done resting. What we wanna do is slice it against the grain. To do this, cut it in half so you don't have crazy long strips. Turn the steak and then thinly slice it on a bias as best you can do. This will make sure that your steak isn't overly chewy when you eat it. And then when it comes to plating up, I've got a beautiful large bowl. I'm gonna add in a 50-50 blend. That's 50% spray mix, 50% baby spinach. And then at this point, it's all about accessorizing our salad with all of those amazing ingredients that we prepped up. The tomatoes, corn, different onions, avocados, everything that you use, put it on there. And of course, we wanna hit it with the steak. And then a few more things. I'm gonna add in some corn tortilla chips right on the outside. And then last but not least, I've got some crumbled cotija cheese. It's gonna be absolutely fantastic in this recipe. This really is such an awesome recipe. So much flavor in this salad. Cannot wait to get into this. See you next time.